Hi, I'm Trev Hutchings, and this is how to create a song in BandLab, part 4. How to change the tempo. Before we move on to adding audio tracks, let's take a look at tempo. Tempo sets how fast the song plays. Now you can change this after you add audio files, but it will start to get complicated. So it is best to choose the speed of your song before you add or record audio tracks. The tempo is shown here, where it currently says 120 BPM. BPM is short for beats per minute. There are two ways we can change the tempo. We can double click on the 120 and then type in a new number between 40 and 240. Or we can move the mouse cursor over the BPM so it turns into this double headed arrow. Now press down on the left mouse button and drag down to reduce the number. Or drag up to increase the number. Changing the tempo will change the feel of the song. If I play the song at the original tempo of 120 BPM, then reduce the tempo to 90 BPM and play again. You can hear the song sounds more relaxed and more like a ballad. And if I now increase the tempo to 240 BPM and play again, You can hear the song now sounds very lively and more like punk. Most music styles though will sit between 90 and 140. Now because the tempo changes the speed the beat is played at, you won't see any changes to the ruler or to your tracks. But if you click on the ruler just above the end of your song, you will see the length of your song in minutes and seconds has changed. Here, by changing the tempo from 120 to 140 BPM, my song is now 2 minutes and 30 seconds long, instead of 2 minutes and 56 seconds. So increasing the tempo will make your song shorter, and reducing the tempo will make your song longer. If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!